These were the years when the stars aligned in the world of video games. Oh, they're going to have to glue you back together in hell! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top picks for the 10 best years in video game history. For this list, we're looking at the years that made a huge positive impact on the gaming industry, both in terms of software and hardware. Let's go! Number 10, 2011. An important transitory year for gamers. In 2011, the seventh generation of gaming was winding down. In order to keep gamers from losing interest in the systems that had been around for half a decade, developers took the game's content in new direction, with titles like Skyrim and Portal 2, which were among the best of the era. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test which involves deadly lasers. It was also the year of user-generated content, with Little Big Planet 2 continuing its predecessor's success, and Minecraft was also given a complete release this year, taking sandbox gaming to new levels. Finally, portable gaming was given a new dimension with the release of the Nintendo 3DS. Street Pass is our name for enhanced automatic local area connection between Nintendo 3DS devices. Number 9, 2004. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. In 2004, Nintendo changed the handheld market when they released the original iteration of the DS, with its notable innovation making a touchscreen on handheld systems mainstream. 2004 was perhaps one of the biggest years for PC games when the revolutionary Half-Life 2 finally came out, as well as the MMO, which still dominates the industry a decade later, World of Warcraft. Of course, home consoles also saw many high-profile releases too, including the long-awaited sequel, Halo 2, and the infamously popular Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Get in the car. Ease up, man, damn. Number eight, 1980. <laughs> Video games were just beginning to come into their own in the early 80s, slowly turning from a fad to a full-blown industry. Iconic arcade hits from the prior decade, including Space Invaders, arrived on the early home console, the Atari 2600. Zapping those little devils from outer space. It's fun! At the same time, Many of what are referred to today as retro classics appeared in the arcades around the world, including popular titles like Pac-Man, Missile Command, and Centipede. Game makers pushed the limits of the technology, and the results were nothing short of extraordinary. Number 7, 1997. 97 proved to be one of the most diverse years ever in video gaming. The Nintendo 64 saw the release of GoldenEye 007, which brought first-person shooter multiplayer to consoles, as well as the space epic Star Fox 64. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. The PlayStation made waves big time, with the release of one of the most beloved JRPGs of all time, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Castlevania Symphony of the Night gave 2D gaming a new lease on life by giving us the Metroidvania genre. And on the PC, two of the biggest franchises today made their humble debuts with the release of the original Fallout and Grand Theft Auto. Number 6, 2001. Ready? Go! Both Nintendo and Microsoft released new home consoles this year, with the GameCube and Xbox respectively. Sir, yes, sir! Both systems began producing legendary games almost immediately, like GameCube's Super Smash Bros. Melee and Xbox's Halo. Rockstar completely changed the gaming scene with the controversial and revolutionary Grand Theft Auto 3, bringing the sandbox genre to the mainstream. Go and introduce a bat to his face, then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult! 2001 is also notably the worst for old Sega fans, as it was the year that the Dreamcast was officially discontinued, and Sega left the console market for good. Number 5, 1996. The arrival of the N64, along with the still new PlayStation, made 1996 the year where blocky-looking 3D games really began to have a noticeable impact on the industry, with titles like Super Mario 64 on the N64 and Tomb Raider on the PlayStation. In 
this period of change, classic 2D games like Donkey Kong Country 3 still frequently appeared, survival horror hit the mainstream with Resident Evil, and a number of amazing shooters were released on the PC and arcades, notably with the return of Duke Nukem and the arrival of Metal Slug. Come on, boy! Number 4, 2013. 2013 was a massive year for great games on all fronts. The Last of Us gave us genuine thrills and emotionally hard-hitting moments. This is not us. What do you know about us? About me. Bioshock Infinite helped the series soar to new heights, Grand Theft Auto V became one of the fastest selling games of all time, and Assassin's Creed IV Black Flag made pirates cool again. The 3DS also had a stellar year, with the likes of Fire Emblem Awakening and Zelda A Link Between Worlds highlighting the tip of a fantastic lineup. And most importantly, this year saw the PS4 and Xbox One released within a week of each other, joining the Wii U to kick off the 8th generation of gaming. Number 3, 2007. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Much of the modern landscape of video games can trace their roots back to this stellar year, with a huge number of major franchises beginning, such as Bioshock, Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, and Mass Effect. They are at a Sony, I presume. It was also a banner year for shooters, with the conclusion of the original Halo trilogy and Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare changing the gaming landscape as we know it. Valve also released the Orange Box, which featured the iconic Portal and Team Fortress 2, and Nintendo reinvented the platforming genre again with Super Mario Galaxy. Number 2, 1985. Simply put, 1985 was the year that saved video games. Just two years earlier, the industry had crashed due to an oversaturation of less than amazing titles. But a large number of now iconic games, like Super Mario Bros., brought the industry back from the brink in 85. It was also a banner year for both PC games and hardware, with the release of the NES and a huge number of well-made games that came out for both consoles and home computers. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, 1998. Excellent snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Everything seemed to go right for gamers in 1998, with almost every major company releasing a slew of iconic and influential games that still hold up today. Where to start? We've got the action adventure defining Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the stealth action defining Metal Gear Solid, the first person shooter defining Half Life, and the real time strategy defining StarCraft. Your forces are under attack. Then, there's Pokemon Red and Blue, which started a cultural phenomenon. And we could probably fit Spyro and Mario Party in there while we're at it. Most importantly, all of these were the titles that proved that video games were a true modern-day entertainment alternative to films and television, one that wasn't going anywhere for a while. Do you agree with our list? Sarcasm self-test complete. Which years do you think revolutionized gaming? Yo, what's up? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Here we go!